Determining cleavage or fracture in a mineral sample can sometimes be pretty difficult. So the more you practice with this, obviously, the better you'll get. Uh, here's a straightforward example. This is muscovite's type of mica. Uh, muscovite has what we say one plane of cleavage. So cleavage is um, looking for how many natural planes that a mineral has. In this case, you can see um, muscovite has one direction in the direction that my pencil is going. If you turn it on its side, you'll see that one direction of cleavage. Compare that to something like halite, which is rock salt. Uh, when you look at the sample of halite, you can clearly look for those natural planes of breakage. Uh, we've got one plane here, which is parallel to this plane. So we look at the parallel planes together. One plane, two planes right here, and a third plane here and here. So we say this has three planes of cleavage. Compare that to this mineral. This is fluorite. Fluorite has four planes of cleavage, so sometimes it's easiest if you get a little flash of light to, to uh, reveal the flat surfaces. Here's one direction. Here's a second direction, third direction, and this would be considered the fourth direction of uh, cleavage on this particular sample. Sometimes you might find a sample such as this, and looking at this you might say, wow, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six planes of cleavage, right? Um, no, you don't. You actually are looking at a crystal, crystal faces, which look like flat planes, but they are formed um, not by breakage. They are actually formed as the uh, magma cools. So what you want to do is look for where the natural break in the sample is, and it's on the end. You look at this, it's rather irregular, and you can call this fracture. Here's another example of fracture. This fracture is um, glassy and got kind of a scooped out shell-like look. We call that conchoidal fracture. You'll look at some other examples of fracture and cleavage in your lab.